Hello, David Lucille here. Have you ever had problems getting in the door? We've all had that problem. You know, hit the button, try to get in the door, and it closes. You just need a little bit more time, don't you? Well, with this redstone contraption, you have plenty of time to get in the door before it closes. I'm going to show you how to do it. Be right back. We're back in a creative world. And here's an example house that I built. Press the button, doors open immediately, stay open, and then they close. So let's take a look at the redstone in action down here. So that's how it's laid out. You press the button, and the redstone signal gets sent down these steps over here. It gets pushed through this repeater. These repeaters turn these, these torches off which turns those torches on, which opens the door. Meanwhile, a signal is also working its way through these repeaters and coming back over here to keep them on. This keeps them on for longer. So, let me show you again. And you see, you can see how this one feeds in and then when these burn out these are still feeding it until the signal runs out so let me show you that one more time and then they turn off and it's the same concept over here but it's had to wire it a little bit differently okay that was weird okay. it was just a glitch no worries So that happens. So I'm going to show you how to build this. And I already have a template set up over here. What you have is you have these two doors up here. And you put a button on either side. You can put them on both sides or one side if you like. When I was originally building this, I started with this side, with the left side first. So you put a redstone under here. And that's how it's lit. And you work this down here. And you're going to put a redstone repeater here and set that to four. You're going to set repeaters here, here, and um, it's either here or here. I think it's there. And you put redstone there and you put a torch. Two torches there and torches there. And now those are going to be closed. Now, you want to feed the redstone up here, and you're going to need one, two, three repeaters there, and the fourth repeater there. And you're going to connect them this way, and that's going to feed down there into that one. And then that's all you need for this side, except you set all of these to their highest delay. Um, these you can leave uh, at their shortest delay. And then press the button, they open, stay open, and then they close. To wire this section up, you go down the stairs. This will feed into there. No, you have to dig out a block here, otherwise they'll feed into there. So, the redstone comes along this way, up, over, it doesn't have to go up and over, it can just continue that way. And then run this along there until it connects into there. So now you've got the same as over there, but over here, except it's a little bit more convoluted. But press the button, first time it'll glitch out. Okay, except I have done something weird. What have I done? Oh. I forgot to set this to 4. You have to set these two to 4. And there you go. They're all set up. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, did I count wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Well, you won't technically need this in, so it is it is 4 by 8. 
uh, just keep that in mind you'll need a 8x4 space uh, with enough room to, to work um, and jump and place redstone and all of that good stuff so hopefully this has been a useful redstone contraption and now you can get in the door and have the door close behind you of course if you're being chased by zombies it it might not be that helpful because the zombies will come in behind you but hopefully it helps thanks guys bye